Hello and welcome to Kit Plus TV, supported by Media Proxy. Now today we're catching up with someone we would normally chat to in person at NAB, which uh, sadly was not to be this year. So we'd like to welcome back on the show Thomas Tang from Apantec. Hi Thomas, nice to see you again. Hi, Hi how are you? Yes, uh, I'm also a little bit sad about NAB. Yeah, yeah we did a lot of work to get it ready. Absolutely, yeah, that's a disappointment. So. Thomas, today we're talking SDM though, aren't we? Which, which stands for Smart Display Modules. We've, we've spoken about this before, but tell us about it again. Give us, give us a run through first. So SDM is, uh, is an Intel platform. It's one of the latest um, uh, smart modules that they make that plugs into a display. Uh, so SDM comes in two form factors, uh, the SDM-S and the SDM-L. So the S stands for small and L stands for large. Um, Makes sense. So most of uh, SDMs are, um, most people built the SDM um, to be a PC. So you could plug a PC into a display for digital signage purposes. But um, at Appantech, okay. we are building interface products based on the SDM platform. So just right. okay. rewinding it a little bit, Thomas, uh, prior to okay. SDM, I believe Intel had an interfo interface called OPS, which was the open pluggable specification. How does SDM differ to that? Oh, so OPS um, well, was the previous generation of um, the pluggable uh, box. So OPS, one, is it's larger to... Um, it really only supported up to 1920 by 1200. And um, so when moving forward to the, the UHD 4K world, um, Intel had uh, redesigned the, uh, the specification and the uh, connectivity. Yeah, so other than, other than resolution, are there, any other, are there any other particular advantages we can highlight of using the SDM format? Well, one, the SDM is smaller, and uh, it's based on a, um, okay. a not a proprietary connector. So as far as manufacturing goes, it uh, becomes easier. Also, SDM also allows you to have some bidirectional uh, communication with, um, with the display. For example, are you a PC? Are you not a PC? Uh, are you, um, how hot are you running? What is the... Um, what is the wattage that you're using, the power consumption that you're using, so the display could adjust accordingly. Okay. And um, another really um, interesting thing about the, um, the SDM is that it's not limited to UHD and 4K. So Intel had looked forward and uh, designed it to be 8K compatible. Okay. okay. So I think probably what will really help um, understand the technology is maybe if you've got some example case studies of what people are using how they're using it and what problems it's overcome maybe so one of the things um that i mentioned earlier is that uh, sdm started out um was um really for pc right and we're making um interface products and so of course in the pc world uh you could use a a player some type of media player that uh, goes into a display that in our use case, we make interface products. So for example, we're using, we're doing um, 12G to HDMI. So 12G SDI to HDMI. We are also doing HD base T. So we're allowed to do HD base T because we were a provider of OPS products um, that provided HD base T technology. And then the NDI, we're doing NDI. So all these interfaces that you can now plug directly into a display without external cables, external power supplies, um, and really that that's in a, in a system that makes a system really clean uh, in a video wall or in a uh, in a studio. And you said um, earlier that manufacturing costs could be could be improved. Is, does this is you know it's cheaper to manufacture? Does this reflect in the uh, uh, than OPS. Does this reflect in the cost of SDM modules over what would have been OPS mod modules? Uh, you know, are they what are they good value in comparison? Uh, yes. Oh, of course. Um, well, one is you know uh, OPS is um, uh, OPS uses a proprietary connector that's only made by one company in the world, 
So that makes it um, right. yeah, harder yeah, yeah, to get. Yeah. So the SDM is based on the PCIe connector. It's PCIe is you know widely used in the uh, in the PC industry. So that's that's available everywhere. Um, also, having two form factors really you don't need a bigger bore to stuff more things on there just to fit the form factor of an OPS. So that is that is um, that is a, quite an advantage. Yeah, yeah, so cool. we said in the intro, Thomas, that we'd normally um, have a good good chat at NAB. Um, what would you have been talking about um, this week, actually, if the show had gone ahead? I mean, I'm sure there would have been some SDM um, stories to tell there as well. Uh, yeah, so we're, what we're showing is um, in SDM, we're showing a couple of different things, right? So we're showing SDI, which is for the broadcast community. And we're showing... Um, what kind of a hybrid broadcast as well as a pro AV, uh, AV over IP, we're doing uh, NDI. Uh, we're also um, uh, doing HD base T, so which is a point to point. So we're showing over IP point to point on AV and as well as uh, uh, SDI. And in all that really, there's, if you're in a staging um, world, uh, event and staging world. This makes it uh, very easy that you you no longer have to stock a particular type of display or a particular type of converter. Right? You can uh, you can have both. You could have some. You could have a bunch yeah. of regular displays, and you could have a bunch of these converter cards. And the converter cards are really like this big, right? So it makes it very easy yeah. to to uh, to store them and uh, to change them out. Flexibility and scalability, I think, and as a, it's a big message with with everybody at the moment. So yeah, Where well, can yeah, we send it, exactly. To... Go on, sorry, yeah, carry on, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, it, well, it, exactly. That you know, by having yeah. no external power supplies, right, you, you're eliminating another point of failure, right, and by not having cables, an extra cable, to for a uh, conversion box, you know, that also eliminates a, a, a factor as well. So where can we send people to to find out a bit more about new products and maybe the full SDM range that you're offering? Oh uh, yeah, uh, so so for the uh, SDM range, we have a uh, we have a landing page uh, www.apantech.com slash crescent slash SDM. That's where it would be. And uh, cool, you could go to www.apantech.com and uh, look at all our new things. We have about 10 new products for it. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Thomas, thank you very much, Thomas. As I say, we do always really enjoy yeah. spending time you. on your booth at these big shows <laughs> where you, you expertly guide us through it all. So hopefully we'll be back doing that again very soon. And do check out that link that Thomas um, says to find out all the things you need to know. Thanks also to Media Proxy for their support, Kit Plus TV. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.